Hey, uh, today I am talking about wide width iron rangers. Uh, really kind of a specific video, but if you're like me, you've got wide feet, it can be challenging to find the right fit. Uh, I think the easy answer or the response you get a lot of the time is, well, just get the, the wide width last. I do find uh, that often, depending on the brand, the wide width last doesn't work for me because the heel is wider and I have a standard width, I might even have a narrow heel uh, because in a wide width last, a lot of the time I get so much heel slippage uh, and just so many blisters in the heel that it causes a problem. So that's why I have this pair here, the 8085s that are a D width, but I had a cobbler stretch the forefoot, forefoot to a double E. Uh, but then I have uh, more recently uh, had a chance to try on some Red Wing double E's um, and they work great as well. So I just thought I'd do a comparison. If you're like me and you've got wide feet and you're trying to figure out how to get the best fit, depending on your foot shape, foot type, um, you know, what, uh, what might be the best option. There's definitely gonna be a lot more than just the width that's adjusted with a wide last. Like, like I mentioned, you know, the wider heel is going to uh, create a completely different feel, completely different fit. You're also gonna have uh, a higher instep. You're gonna have possibly a higher toe box, which is the case here with these Iron Rangers. You're gonna have a wider ankle. And the one that really uh, surprises people often is the length of the boot is going to be adjusted as well. In order for the last to really work to uh, create more volume, the last is gonna be, or the length is going to be slightly adjusted as well. So they're all things that you kind of have to take into consideration. Um, the length isn't going to be a major difference, but uh, it's definitely going to affect fit. And in, in some brands, I know Grant Stone says if you're going to a triple E width that you'll go down another half size from what you would if you were in a standard width. So the length is adjusted almost that, that half size. So something to take into consideration. Comparing these two options that I have, since the forefoot has been stretched on the 8085, the width feels the same. Uh, but that's about it. The overall volume on the last is larger, as, as I mentioned. Uh, so including the length, and I'll throw the measurements up here. Um, now these aren't going to be the perfect way because, you know, I'm, I'm measuring the, for the length, I'm measuring the outsole. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be really challenging to get a perfect measurement on the insole. Uh, and I love these boots and wear them all the time. So uh, unfortunately I can't, you know, um, cut them open or do anything to be able to get a, a, a perfect measurement there. But measuring the outsole does give me some idea. And when I did that, uh, measuring the length of the boot on the, and um, these are both an eight and a half red wing, measuring the, the length on the 8085, which is a standard width last, the length of the outsole is 12 inches compared to the 8083, which is a double E last, which is a quarter of an inch longer at 12 and a quarter inches. I also measured around the ankle, which is probably the biggest difference I notice. Um, and this, I was just measuring around the quarter, not including the tongue. So from uh, one side of the quarter wrapped around the back of the ankle around to the other side, on the 8085, the D width last, it's 9.5 inches around. And on the double E last, it's nine and three quarters inches. So another quarter inch of space in that ankle. And um, that's one area where I actually, you know, um, notice that it might be too wide for me. If that was, if I could have everything on the double E last, except with just a narrower ankle, which, you know, wouldn't be uh, possible. I don't think you'd have, some issues uh, running into the design there. But that's one thing where the double E last for me is too wide in the ankle. So just something to, to consider. And then the other measurement that I took is just around the forefoot. Um, I just wrapped the tape measure around the uh, where the toe cap stitching is on both. Because while both uh, of these boots are a double E width, you know, I had the D last stretched to a double E. So, you know, the the width of that toe box is going to be double E on both. The height of the toe box leading into the height of the instep has been adjusted as well on the double E. So that measurement around on the D width last was 11 and a half inches. And that's even though it's been stretched to a double E width. 
and the uh, measurement around the toe cap on the double elast was 12 inches so quite a bit of a difference there lots more room in terms of the height and volume uh, so if you have a wide foot and a high instep which i do as well you're going to find this to be very very comfortable uh, and then the heel i wasn't sure how to get a measurement there but i also think uh, looking at these pictures uh, of the the heel and uh, the up through the the back of the shaft there you'll you can just visually see how much wider it is in the doubly e boot so that's just a quick comparison of a D-width Iron Ranger that I had stretched to a double E and a double E last Iron Ranger. Having wide feet doesn't necessarily mean that uh, a wide last in a specific brand is going to work well for your foot. So, uh, you know, hopefully this was helpful if you're uh, like me and you've got wide feet and you're trying to find something that's going to work. Thankfully, the Red Wing Iron Ranger, I think part of it is just that contour through the waist that helps everything stay locked in. The double elast has worked out uh, really well for me and they have been comfortable from day one. Really great experience. So that's it. Some wide boots from Red Wing. All right. Thanks a lot.